today we are talking about snakes and my earlier days. Yes. Because this is a channel and I talk about stuff. So we're talking about stuff right now. My earlier days and snakes. So let's get to the video. But before we do, please like, subscribe, maybe turn on notifications. If you like snakes, also like, subscribe, and maybe turn on those notifications. It only takes a few seconds. I mean, why not? Let's get to the video. First, before we actually get to the video, there's a spider on um, this web right here. He's captured a lot of of little things and I just wanted to see the process of her wrapping that um those in her web bit. she just catches them and she curls them up in her web that's so cool it comes from her abdomen and by the way, the kids, this is learning. It, they, it comes from their abdomen. They have a little sack where they keep um, their uh, stringy stuff. I don't remember what they're what it's called, but they have stringy stuff in their abdomen. They keep, and when a bug goes into, flies into its web, it goes up to the bug and wraps it around in its um um stringy stuff and it it saves them for like later it might be months it might be days it might not be in a couple seconds um so so they they just wrap them and there's like a bunch of um little um like a little bit a bunch of like little mini flies swarming around the web so that that spider's catching a lot of flies and it's so cool I mean if you could see closer when a bug um flies on she's waiting in the middle of her um, web she waits for a bug to fly up there and um she calls up to it and she um saves it for a couple days and she gets a good, appetizing, nice meal. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So, um, in my earlier days, um, so, uh, I was running from our Blackberry bus that we used to ha have back home, back to the house, the deck. I ran, I ran through the middle of two trees over that way, away from the house. And um, I went in the middle, there's our sand pit, right? And I didn't notice until after I couldn't stop that there was a snake there. So I went and told everybody that I, that I had to jump over a snake because I couldn't stop. So I had to keep going and jump over it. Thankfully, it was not a 
harmful snakes because my grandparents, they knew what type of sna snake it was. It was a rat snake, and that was the, one of the times that I was able to rub a snake's scales. And I did not like it because it was wet and slimy and ew. <laughs> But it was so cool to look at. It was climbing up the tree. I mean, they're pretty rare here. Kind of rare. We live in Texas. Um, and so, um, snakes are also kind of rare here. Snakes in general are kind of rare here. But, we have been seeing a lot of copperheads. Copperheads are the most common in our yard. So, yeah. Also, when I was like five, before the before COVID started, um, it started like a month after I turned five. So like a little bit before my birthday, I believe we went to a little snake convention. And I got to touch some non-venomous snakes. And a lot of people get the diff... Lot, a lot of people don't realize the difference between a snake bite if they're poisonous or venomous. And for all of you out there who are still young and will believe me, they are... Um, they are not poisonous, they are venomous. So if you ever get a snake bite, you will want to see your parents about it and tell them what the snake looks like. And um, not all snakes are venomous either. Some snakes like, for example, the, the Green Florida water snake, I believe. Um, they you can touch those, you can pick them up, you can not kill them. A lot of people don't get the difference between that snake and one other snake. I don't remember the name of, even though I just watched a video about snakes. But anyway. We went to the snake convention. We touched some non-venomous snakes. Um, I was able to wrap one around my neck. It was so cute. I got to, I had, it, when it wrapped around my neck, I had to hold it like this because its head was like trying to go away. <laughs> it was so cute. I don't remember what type of snake it was. And by the way, if a rattlesnake is looking at you and rattling its tail, it's just giving you a warning not to get close before it bites you. I don't know if they are venomous or not. Because they, they bite I, on purpose? I don't know if they are venomous or not. Because just because they bite on purpose doesn't mean they'd be venomous. But I can't tell because no one's ever told me. Not even YouTube. Nobody. <laughs> so anyway, when I was a child, I also... Um, I also had a different 
swing. Whoa. Then, um, this. This. Because, um, I was way smaller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, 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 um, while I was, I paused the video to turn it back around, um, the, the video was playing in the background was, so, um, I heard that, um, they are Florida green water snakes, not anything else. Now I know they're just Florida green water snakes. And, um, so they, um, yeah. If you encounter a Florida green water snake, it's okay. Don't run away. Don't try to kill it. Um, because, um, they are not venomous. You can pick them up. You, you can do whatever. Just don't kill them or torture them. <laughs> but anyway, Ugh. when I was younger. I <sighs> when I was younger I had a dream about different colored like little cats and apparently one of my wishes came true. It was Santa too. Anyway. Um That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time about learning about snake and my history. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, maybe turn on no those notifications. It only takes a few seconds. If you like, if you like this video, um, bye. <laughs>